Welcome back to another Tricky Thursday. I'm Trisha, owner of Creative Costume Academy, where it is my mission to help you learn pattern making so that you can start making designs that fit you flawlessly and are exactly what you desire. Today we're gonna to be talking about darts that you find in the fitting, but you don't necessarily want them in your final garment. So first of all, I always recommend if you're working with a new pattern that you've never fit before or you're trying out a new design that you aren't quite sure, that you always do a mock-up because you can figure out this stuff in the mock-up and you don't have to have a dart where you don't want it to be. So this dart happens a lot. I found, you know, if you take something in at the sides that's pretty obvious. You know that you're gonna bring that seam in to hug that closer to the body. Same thing up here. That's pretty straightforward. But if you find some extra fullness, you know, in your arm's eye, or maybe it's happened to me before where I have it like gapping at the neck and you wanna pinch that out so you can pinch a little dart out. But what if you don't want that dart to be in your final garment? Well, that's what I'm gonna talk about today. So I had some gapping in the armhole on this little sloper that Isabella is wearing. So what I've done is pinned out that dart and I always, whenever I'm pinning a dart in the fitting, you wanna always direct it towards, I have an under bust dart here. So I always wanna direct that point to the under bust dart, to the dart point to another dart point. So what you're basically gonna do is gonna use dart manipulation, which is the first principle that I teach in my course, Pattern Making 101. You can get learn all about it in my free course, the Pattern Masterclass, in the link in my bio, completely free. Learn all about that first principle. So what we're gonna do is by directing that dart to the underbust dart point, we can then move this dart into that underbust dart and get rid of it so that it'll be smooth in the final garment. So what I wanna do is when I'm pinning this area out, this is where the bulk of it needs to come out and then I'm gonna to go to nothing right at the point of my dart that's there. Then what I'm gonna do when I go to take this out and transfer it back to my pattern, I'm gonna mark both sides of the safety pins that I have before I take them out. And then when you remove those safety pins, then you can actually start to see that there's a dart there. So I will take a ruler, but I'm just gonna show you this and draw that dart in. So I pinned that on the body. I know that's how much I wanna take out. By marking those pins and drawing a straight line, you can see that there's an actual dart that is going to my underbust dart. And then you just take basic dart manipulation and close this dart and open it in this underbust dart. So I'm gonna show you quickly, but like I said, if you wanna learn more about that first principle, dart manipulation, you're gonna to wanna to check out my free pattern masterclass up in the link in my bio. So let's go to the table and I'll show you quickly how to move this on a pattern. Okay, so if we have done our fitting and you have focused on one side. I usually suggest that you focus on one side of your fitting. You discovered there's too much room in this armhole and you've pinned it out, directing that fullness towards your dart point, towards your bust point always, or towards the outer edge of the fabric. The next thing you wanna do is you want to cut the half that you don't wanna pay attention to. You were focusing on this side while you were doing your fitting. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut along this center line and get rid of this side. This side doesn't have any information that I need on it. Next, I'm going to mark, if I haven't already, I'm gonna mark all of my fitting safety pins that I put on there so that I can take them out but still see where I need to make an adjustment. 
<clears throat> now I know that basically I'm creating a little dart, but I don't want to keep a dart there. I want to get rid of it. So what I'm going to do is with my marker, I am going to try to smooth out this line. The most important information is here. That's how much I want to shorten that armhole. And so I'm going to go with those lines more than even these lines in here. And I'm going to go back to my bust point. I'm going to draw that little dart in like so. And you see, I did kind of go off here, but like I said, the more important information is here and it's really hard to get super accurate while on the body. So that is okay that this isn't like a wide to narrow dart. I want to take this much out of the armhole and I know that I have to direct it back to my bust point. So after I've got that, the next step is in order to transfer this information back to my pattern, I need this to lay flat. So I could unsew this dart or what you could do since we're this is a mock-up. I'm not going to actually keep this and this is why I suggest doing mock-ups. I'm just going to cut this dart off right at the stitch line so that now it can lay flat and now I can use this to lay on my pattern and get rid of this dart. The other thing that I suggest doing and this is just something that I always say is you want to cut off all of your seam allowances in case you know, if I took it in at the side seams, I would cut along where I wanted that seam to go. In this case, I'm not doing that, but I'm going to go ahead and cut off all of my seam allowance. Now, basically what I have is a fabric sloper, which is good. That makes it really easy when I want to lay it back on my pattern. Now keep in mind, if you're using fabric, it could fray out, it could like kind of be distorted a little bit, but I know that my dart goes here and that's lining up correctly. I know that my center front is going to be straight and I know that I cut off my seam allowance, so I'm really looking at laying it right on my seam lines that I have drawn in on my pattern. The next thing I want to do is transfer this dart marking onto my paper. And now we are going to use a basic dart manipulation to get rid of this dart. So you can see that I can now tell where that dart is. Again, because I was drawing this on fabric, what I want is that dart to go to my bust point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that that point goes to my bust point when I'm drawing it in and, and cleaning it up. And there. So yes, that creates a dart. Now we're going to get rid of it. Dart manipulation means that you can move any dart to anywhere you want um, on the thing, on your bodice, on the thing, on your bodice as long as you're going to using a pivot point that you can move it into another dart or you can separate it out into other darts. I talk about this more in my pattern masterclass that you can check out for free. Explains all this, but I'm just gonna cut along one of these lines here. I'm gonna cut along one of these lines here of my original dart going to my bust point. So keeping my bust point as a hinge and then I can close this dart and tape that in place. And now that is gone. That amount that I needed to take out of there is now gone. I would probably want to make this curve look a little nicer by truing that up. <clears throat> and now this under bust dart is this big. So I need to add paper in here and refold to get this dart. But basically I moved this dart down here so that now when I recut this out after I've trued it up and figured out my new dart root, this will no longer need that taken out of it because I've already moved it down here. And because I'm capturing it in this dart when I sew it together like I would, 
it will now fit how I want it to fit. So I'm using basic dart manipulation to get rid of a problem that I found in my fitting. If you want to learn more about this stuff, I go in depth way farther than this, even in my Pattern Making 101 course, which you can sign up on the wait list right now. And you can check out even more about dart manipulation and getting this dart root in my free Pattern Masterclass up in my bio. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you next week.